Selling our own uh, battery cells, uh, we, th we think the most advanced uh, cell in the world here at Giga Texas. And uh, we think over time this will probably be the, the biggest uh, cell factory in the world. Batteries power nearly every part of modern life. The phone or laptop being used to read this is almost certainly running on one. The low battery alert has become a familiar anxiety. But imagine a future where charging becomes almost unnecessary, where a smartphone lasts an entire month, and an electric car can travel 1,000 miles on a single charge, refuel in 10 minutes, and keep its battery healthy for a million miles of use. To understand how close humanity might be to that future, scientists have been evaluating new battery technologies based on performance, practicality, and cost. The latest breakthroughs from researchers and manufacturers, including the much-anticipated innovations from Tesla's Battery Day, are providing the clearest picture yet of what the next generation of batteries might look like. Today, most electric vehicles rely on lithium-ion batteries. These cells have transformed transportation but with limitations. They are heavy for the energy they store, slow to recharge, and degrade over time. Gasoline, by comparison, still carries over a hundred times more power per kilogram. One kilogram of gasoline stores around 46 to 48 megajoules, while a lithium-ion battery pack typically stores less than one megajoule per kilogram. Even though electric motors are far more efficient than combustion engines, the energy gap remains vast. To make things more complicated, lithium-ion batteries lose a bit of capacity with every charge cycle. Manufacturers typically measure their lifespan by how many full charges a cell can endure before it falls to 80% of its original capacity. Elon Musk once explained that while Tesla's drive units are engineered for a million miles, the batteries themselves generally last between 300,000 and 500,000 miles, around 1,500 charge cycles. For electric vehicles to last as long as their engines, battery durability and energy density must both improve dramatically. But even if scientists perfect those two aspects, ethical and environmental challenges also remain. Much of the world's cobalt, a key component in many batteries, is mined in the Democratic Republic of Congo under dangerous and exploitative conditions. Many mines rely on child labor and cause significant deforestation. As demand for electric vehicles surges, companies are being pressured to eliminate or replace cobalt entirely with safer, more sustainable materials. That brings us to Tesla's innovations. At Battery Day, Tesla unveiled a new Tablis 4680 battery cell, larger, more efficient, and cheaper to produce than previous designs. By removing the traditional tab connection and using a shingled spiral structure, the design reduces internal resistance and heat buildup, allowing for faster charging and easier mass production. The new architecture also increases energy storage by up to five times, boosts power output sixfold, and improves driving range by 16%. Tesla expects these improvements to reduce costs per kilowatt hour by over half, helping them reach their long-term goal of three terawatt hours of production annually by 2030. Beyond the design itself, Tesla introduced high nickel cathodes that eliminate the need for cobalt and an improved silicon-based anode that's stabilized by an elastic polymer. Together, these innovations promise cheaper, lighter, and more sustainable batteries. But Tesla isn't alone. Across the world, research teams are pursuing breakthroughs that could redefine the way energy is stored and delivered. One of the most promising fields is metal air battery technology. Lithium air and aluminum air batteries offer enormous potential because of their lightweight and high energy capacity. In theory, lithium air batteries could hold up to 10 times more energy than lithium ion cells, though practical results so far are closer to 3 to 5 times higher. Their major challenge lies in keeping the electrodes clean and preventing clogging caused by chemical reactions inside the cell. Scientists are experimenting with new materials like molybdenum disulfide nanoflakes to stop this buildup, extending battery life from just a few cycles to hundreds. NASA has also been testing lithium air systems for use in electric aircraft, though battery lifespan remains a key obstacle. 
Another exciting direction is using nanotechnology. At scales between 1 and 100 nanometers, materials start to behave differently, bridging the gap between quantum and classical physics. In battery design, nanostructures can allow electrodes to expand and contract without breaking apart. Researchers at Purdue University demonstrated this with antimony nanochains that form a flexible mesh, allowing the material to charge quickly while maintaining stability. Similarly, graphene, a single layer of carbon atoms arranged in a honeycomb lattice, has drawn immense attention for its strength, conductivity, and heat resistance. Companies like Samsung have used graphene-coated nanoparticles, known as graphene balls, to boost energy density by nearly 30% and maintain strong performance after hundreds of charging cycles. Other firms, such as Nanograph and Amprius, are experimenting with silicon nanowire anodes that can store far more energy than graphite without falling apart, achieving energy densities approaching 500 watt-hours per kilogram, enough for use in lightweight electric aircraft. Silicon-rich anodes are especially promising. Silicon can store up to 10 times more lithium than graphite, but it expands so much during cycling that it tends to crack. To fix this, engineers have developed porous silicon nanostructures that can flex during charging, preserving their shape and capacity. Companies are now using this technology in commercial batteries, allowing smaller devices and future electric vehicles to hold more energy and charge faster than ever before. Another emerging candidate is lithium sulfur chemistry. Sulfur is inexpensive, abundant, and capable of storing several times more energy than current lithium ion materials. Theoretical limits suggest energy densities of more than 2,500 watt hours per kilogram, far beyond today's 300 and 400 watt HKG cells. However, lithium sulfur faces problems too. Sulfur conducts electricity poorly, and during operation, it forms soluble compounds that can degrade the battery and cause energy loss even when not in use. It also expands dramatically during charging, putting mechanical stress on the cell. Scientists are addressing these challenges by developing new polymers, nanostructured supports, and solid-state designs to stabilize the reaction. Airbus successfully tested lithium sulfur batteries in its Zephyr solar-powered drone, proving that they can perform in extreme conditions. Researchers in Australia are also working toward making the technology commercially viable for electric vehicles, with prototypes capable of ranges exceeding 600 miles. The push for solid-state batteries may be the biggest ever. Instead of using liquid electrolytes, solid-state designs employ solid ceramics, polymers, or glass-like materials to move ions between the electrodes. These systems are safer because they don't leak or catch fire, and they promise higher energy density and faster charging. Several major car makers, including Toyota, Volkswagen, BMW, and Hyundai, are investing heavily in this field. Companies like QuantumScape claim their solid-state cells can charge to 80% in about 15 minutes while lasting hundreds of cycles. Samsung's approach uses a thin silver carbon layer to stabilize the lithium metal anode, increasing lifespan and safety while maintaining high capacity. These breakthroughs suggest that solid-state technology could reach mass production within the next few years, starting with premium vehicles and eventually moving into consumer electronics. Meanwhile, Japan Power Plus has been developing dual-carbon batteries, which use carbon for both electrodes. Their Cambrian cells are derived from natural materials like cotton fibers, offering a sustainable alternative to metal-based chemistries. Although these batteries currently store less energy per kilogram than lithium-ion cells, they can discharge completely, operate at cooler temperatures, and charge up to 20 times faster. They also show minimal degradation even after thousands of cycles. The company hopes to scale production from small medical and aerospace to electric vehicles, creating affordable and environmentally friendly batteries that could last for decades. Each of these technologies addresses a different limitation in today's batteries, whether it's cost, durability, safety, or performance. Together, they point to a future where energy storage becomes cleaner, 
denser and more adaptable. Advances in battery science will not only transform electric vehicles, but also revolutionize everything from smartphones to renewable energy storage. With better batteries, drones will fly longer, solar power will become more practical, and electric boats and aircraft could soon take to the skies. The world is on the brink of an electric revolution. The journey towards that future depends not only on chemistry and physics, but also on sustainable production and ethical sourcing. Lithium, nickel and cobalt must be mined responsibly, and recycling systems must evolve to recover valuable materials from old batteries. Researchers, engineers and policymakers all share responsibility for ensuring that the technologies powering tomorrow's world are as clean as the energy they store. If these innovations reach full potential, the benefits will be immense. Phones and laptops could run for days or weeks. Electric vehicles could drive across countries on a single charge. Renewable energy could be stored efficiently enough to power entire cities at night. And it would all be built on safer, cleaner, more sustainable foundations. The future, it seems, is not just electric. It's finally within reach. Finally within reach.